Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today for this painting tutorial titled Expecting. This is sent in from one of my patrons. She requested that I paint this. She took the beautiful photo and I'm gonna render it today, create a tutorial for you all to follow along and give this original painting to her. If you'd like to receive the reference photo, download it for free. It's available on Patreon now. And let's go ahead and get started with this painting. Um, and I've got the following colors I'm gonna go over right now for you. I'll have a list of these below the description as well and on Patreon. We've got Titanium White, Burnt Sienna, Thalo Blue, Crimson Red, and Hooker's Green Hue. I'm going to start the painting with a one inch flat brush and I'm just going to get a little bit of water on my brush, add it to the canvas. This is going to really help me blend my acrylics out. Okay, so now that it's wet, I'm going to go over uh, the top, just the right corner here with a little patch of sky that we can see. And I'm going to use a bit of white here and just a little bit of phthalo blue. And I'm just going to block it in just this little patch right up here. So we've got this beautiful mother-to-be. She may have even had her baby by now. Congratulations to the family. And we've got her here standing on a bridge looking out at, I'm envisioning maybe a pond or a lake. And to me, she's really thinking about her future and the new life and new journey, new chapter in her life that's about to begin and what an amazing gift she's about to be given. And the next thing I wanna do is come in with um, the background trees and bushes. So I'm just gonna do this really, really uh, loosely again and I'm gonna take a mixture of blue, a little bit of green and a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to add a bit of white to that. I need to warm it up, so I'm going to warm it up by adding more burnt sienna. And then I'm going to come in right here, pull down a line like that, and then we're going to just scoop and come right down a little bit lower and right across to the edge of the canvas. I'm going to gently kind of tap just with the corner of my brush just to give it, you know, that tree and forest kind of look back there, a little bit bumpy. I'm going to take a little bit more white and burnt sienna. So it's a lot lighter than this. And then I'm just going to wiggle that in a little bit more. And to make it a little blurrier, I'm just going to take one of my small mop brushes. It's dry. I'll tap into a little bit of that color again. And going to make it kind of blurry by scumbling over and blending it out. I'm going to go up the side here as well. So it looks out of focus. That's the tri that's the type of look that we're going for here. So that brings her in focus and she's the focal point and this is just a nice soft out of focus backdrop. Okay, back over to my flat brush. I haven't rinsed it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of blue and green now. It's getting a little bit cooler in tone. And I don't know if it's ivy. It's kind of the color of ivy. Maybe there's ivy just kind of growing wild here. There's a little bit of it. It looks like going up the tree. Of course, I'm rendering this. So I'm painting how I am seeing it through my eyes. It may not be ivy at all, but that's what I'm seeing in the photo and that's what it looks like to me. And, you know, that's what's really interesting and fun about doing these paintings from photos. I do love to paint from my imagination. Um, and I think a little bit of that always comes through even when I'm painting from a photo. 
And I'm just going to add just a faint line back here. Pick up a little bit more of burnt sienna. And start coming in with just a little bit more saturation in color, a little bit less white. Somebody was asking me the other day, what kind of brush are you using? It's so scrapey and loud. It's really not. It's just, I ha must have a really good mic on my uh, camera, which is just my iPhone that I use for filming. And um, it's just synthetic, the, the bristles. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is come in here with the darker... Uh, tree. It's more in the foreground. It's not going to be the main focal point. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker and take that burnt sienna green and blue. And I'm going to go slightly over and kind of wiggle to get that kind of texture of the side of the tree trunk, the edge. It's, you know, bumpy. And I'll take a little bit more. There's all sorts of vines and, and trees. I'm just going to let this drip down a little bit here. I feel the need to do that sometimes during my paintings. I love the natural, organic feel of letting it drip down, creating all those natural looking, more natural looking uh, vines and, and things. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more of the burnt sienna this time. I haven't washed my brush out. And I'm just going to start pulling a little bit lighter, leaving it a little bit patchy. I'm going to add a bit of white, the bottom of my brush. And just start coming in with a few lines here. I'm going to make this just kind of a blurry background. We're going to have the bridge and our mum to be in front of this, making it the focal point, but we just need a backdrop and it's just basically colors and just blocking that in. So a bit of white green and blue, burnt sienna. Little taps here and there for the suggestion of a little bit of white, blue, and green for a suggestion of um, some ivy. So I'm just pushing and tapping. little tap 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 here gonna add a little bit more shadows I'm gonna take a bit of red this time with my green and my blue give us a really nice dark color and a little bit of gorgeous almost like an eggplant color You don't want to over blend, you just want to apply that in little strips here and there. Let's just get right on the edge. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add that down here with a little bit of water.
I'm just gonna start on the edge of the far left side of the canvas and block this area in here at a line. So we've got our tree that comes down here and then the bridge walkway here that goes just past that tree. It doesn't really matter. You could start it right next to the tree if you want. I'm going to make it a little darker now. Mix all those colors up. Okay. Define it just a little bit more. And then we're just simply going to pull I'm going to take a little bit of water, white, and burnt sienna. Back and forth, side to side, long sweeping strokes as we get down to the bottom here. So it feels like we're more in the foreground. Because I haven't washed my brush out purposely, I'm getting little hints of all these colors coming out along with that light brown with the burnt sienna and white. Now what I'd like to do is come in with a little bit of, make a little bit of uh, dusty plum color. Mix that up with, so just blue, red, a little bit more red, warm it up a bit more. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of this in here. Tie everything together. I'll add a hint. Just little dabs here and there. The background as well. Okay, and then I'm going to just cut into those dark colors, just slice right in there so it's nice and loaded up. I have a line of it on that very edge of the paintbrush. Now we'll just pull some lines. They don't have to be perfect. You can go back and forth. And then I'm going to start bringing the shadows in a little bit more. As this paint starts to dry, I'll be able to do this a little bit easier now. So just lightly pull from the side. So the season... <clears throat> this was taken in is definitely fall. We've got some leaves down here that we'll be adding shortly. Okay, so I'm going to take a little scoop of the red, blue, and green. And I'm going to come right down here, making it a little bit wider. Down here, closest to us. And then make it thinner and thinner. I'm going to push and tap with the corner of my brush for some leaves. We're just going to add the dark base first, and then we'll add lighter colors to them after. What you don't want to do is go over and over and over them, blending 
um, too much because it's going to just look like one big blob rather than a lot of little leaves. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white and burnt sienna. Work out what's in my brush. And I'm going to come right over top. So we have the top of the bottom board on our railing of the bridge and the darkest part right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna add um, a lighter color to our leaves to make them stand out. And I really like um, these colors here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of burnt sienna. You know, the warm tones that we have here, the purpley color. And little taps. You can use a liner brush, a round brush, filbert brush, anything. It's just really how you're applying the paint with it. You're just tapping and you're, you know, you want to change it up. You don't want it to look like it's a perfect pattern. Leaves are messy. So just have a little bit. different sizes here and there and using the corner of the brush, pick it up after you tap, turn it, use the other edge. Continue along with my number 10 or half inch flat brush. I'm gonna be coming in with the shape, the boards for the railing now on our fence. And I'm gonna mix my red and blue and green to make a dark color. And I'm gonna start by adding about two inches in height line right here. Making it a little bit thicker here. And just go over the base. Okay. Then I'm gonna cross over. and cross over this way. So we've got an X. Then we're gonna have a line right here. Now our female's gonna kind of fall into this area right about here. So what I'm gonna do is just leave that and just kind of skip a space here and then come down with a line here. We're going to create another X. You know, it really helps to simplify things and instead of what we're really painting, say the shapes or what they resemble out loud. And then a line down here. Bring this up just a little bit higher. And now we've got this diamond shape. Okay, 
just gonna go over a little bit more of the red and the green. And let's add our railing. So the railing is slanted, obviously, right? And it's gonna go higher up here. So we're gonna start it right here. We get about half an inch. And then it gets a little bit higher just gradually. I'm really, really enjoying these paintings. You guys are sending me such gorgeous photographs to work with. It's hard to say no. I was originally just going to accept a handful to do, but I can't believe what great photographers you are out there and the beautiful places you live and have visited. So thank you to all my patrons. And there's no expiry. There's no limit to the amount of painting or photographs you can send. When I choose yours, I'm not only making a tutorial for everybody, but I'm also gifting you the original painting. So that's just my, my way of saying thank you so much for choosing to support um, me on Patreon. Okay, so we're going to come in, add another line or post right down here. And then just see a little bit on this side. Okay, now we can come in and add our lighter colors. So I'm gonna take a bit of white, burnt sienna, a little bit of that purpley color. And I'm gonna go across the bottom again, but I'm gonna pull little lines this way. So it helps to make it feel more flat on the top. It can be a little tricky to do you don't have to do that. But just take your time. Okay, now I'm going to go across the top, the top of the railing with our light color. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to help loosen this paint. And then I'm going to take a little bit of burnt sienna. Mix it with what's on my brush and just kind of go gently across the top of the railing or the side here. I'm going to bring that separation back. So if you happen to make everything too light, you can easily just go right in between with the dark again. Okay, so now it's time to come in with the lighter areas on all the boards. I guess I'm going to come in And add a little area there, there, across the bottom,
and we'll just continue along. We know we're gonna, this is mostly gonna be covered up, but just in case there's a little bit showing. boards are quite wide. Normally I wouldn't paint um, them this wide, but I'll have to forget where um, the photographer, my patron, mentioned where this is, but really makes me feel like I want to go. It's just so pretty. And there's a few little leaves back there as well. Let me just take those colors again, mix them up. Shadow, just bring it right back. I'm gonna tap in a little bit of this as well. Add another layer, this time just burnt sienna and white. And then a little bit more light right in this one. This is one seems to be the brightest. I'm just going to kind of scrape a little bit in here. And you'll see what I mean when you look at the reference photo. And it'll be really neat to see how you guys paint it. You know, with my guidance and also by looking at the reference photo yourselves and seeing your take on it and just, yeah, how you see it. You may paint it completely different from me. It'll be really interesting to see. Rinsing out my brush again. I'm going to go back in now and add little taps, burnt sienna, just a little bit of white for some more leaves in here. And add a little bit down here, just to tie all the colors together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on our female. I'm going to switch over to a small filbert brush because she's we females are curvy, and this is a nice brush to use to create those uh, curves. And this is number eight. Filbert, you can use something a little bit smaller. If you don't have a filbert brush, I would suggest using a round brush. Whoops. And I'm going to start, I'm not going to do the um, all the details on her face. I'm going to add a little bit more hair to kind of um, <clears throat> hide part of the features on her face so that um, everybody can paint along. And I'm going to start with a little bit of blue, green, and red. I'm going to start with where her head's going to be and we'll have it right about an inch or so down from the top of the canvas. So her hair is pulled up partially here and it goes just in a little clip right there and then it goes Add a little bit of burnt sienna in there as well, over top, to cut that blue and green. Give it more of a deep, deep chestnut color. It's going to go out and over like this, her shoulders and her back. And it actually just stops right where we have the railing, so just a little bit over the railing. I'm 
rinsing my brush out, I'm going to go into my burnt sienna with a little bit of white and I'm going to add it a little bit over top for some highlights, soft highlights. Maybe a little suggestion of a clip in her hair there. rinsing my brush out once more and I'm gonna make her skin now her at her face partially right because most of it's going to be covered with her hair I'm not gonna have too too much paint in my brush or too much water it's a little burnt sienna you can tone it with a little bit of blue or red green Just come down here. So we're going to have her looking out. Add a little bit of burnt sienna, a little bit extra burnt sienna for the side of her face. And her neck. Add a little bit more white and then her shoulder there's not a lot of shadows here making it really easy to paint don't have to add too much detail You basically just want to have a line down like this and then just go out a little bit for the nose. What I like to do is just add a basic shape and then go out for the nose and then smaller for the chin, a little shadow under the neck. And then we come down where her chest is. So see, you don't have to have uh, too much detail. I like just those kind of impressionistic, um, suggestive, or just suggesting. The features and the overall figure. Okay, so now I'm going to come down. We're, we'll add a few more highlights. I just want that to set there and dry a little bit as we move on to uh, her body. And I'm going to take red and blue, a little bit of green. And we're going to come right under, bring it up just a little bit. Her arm's going to be here, but we want to paint the body first. So we've got her chest, breast area, and then the belly. I'm going to take a scoop of crimson red. I'm going to start her belly here that comes out wider, of course. And then we'll cut over top with the red for her 
arm and we'll build this up one layer at a time and then this is just her back area here and her chest and then you're going to pull it across and almost meet the arm but then we've got some shadows in there and some folds so I'm just going to add a few little lines here for some uh, ripples and wrinkles And then we'll come out down like this so it curves in her lower back and then it comes out slightly her bottom and then in a little bit and then the dress comes down flat like this and then spills over it's on top of the leaves let's bring her hips and leg comes out here her knee would be bending right about there kind of looks like red velvet right now okay and then we're going to come down okay, I'm just scooping up that red we're going to come in with our shadows pretty soon. That's really going to make this look, this dress look a lot more 3D. And then we'll add even a little bit of um, white once this is all dry for a dry brush over the red. Okay, so bring her arm back, her shoulder back a little bit further. And then her back. A little further as well. I'm going to rinse my brush out. Add a little bit more white. Just slightly over. Add a little bit of highlights to her face. Take a little bit more of that burnt sienna. A few more little shadows in here. And then just with a little bit of green and blue.
I'm just going to add a little line under her nose. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit more of my green, red, and blue for her hair. Burnt Stana, a little bit of white in there. Add some highlights. Now I'm kind of wiggling it as I'm adding it because she's got some that, um, some curl, a little bit of waviness and curl in there. And I'm going to wiggle in between for just a little bit more um, shadows. And I just added a tiny bit of the burnt sienna and the white just on one side of her head and a little bit like she has her hair split in the middle heard the part. And then her hair clip. A little bit more blue, red, and green. And now I want to come in with the shadows and folds in her dress. So I'm going to take blue and green for that. Start with her arm. Her arm and hand. So just underneath here is where you're going to add that shadow. And then you just want to gently pull up, 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 up. Okay, and then we're going to get right inside here. There's a little triangle. And then that line that separates. And then her hand will be coming up here, holding her belly. And from her bottom, very gently, come right down here, almost to the lightest part of her knee. And just add a bit of a shadow like that. And then you really want to load your brush up on the very end. Now, if your brush isn't flat, make sure you Gently give it a quick little wiggle like this, and it'll make it nice and flat for you. And then all you want to do is come in and add some lines. Okay, so a few lines, and then make them a little bit wider on the bottom. This one's going to curve over like this, almost right to the very edge there. And then we just have the bright red that we're going to come in, our brightest color. Okay. 
and soften this area off right here. And I'm going to add a shadow. I'm going to take some red, green, and blue and add a shadow right underneath the base of this dress. I'm just going to dab around with some more green, blue. Okay, so this is pretty much all dry. I'm going to come over with um, a bright red now, adding a little bit of burnt sienna and white to it. I'm going to start with, we'll start on the right side here, down her back, and then her arm. And we're just going to Gently pull like that and kind of curve over for some folds. And right over her breast and then gently make sure you leave that triangle there. We're going to go over her belly and then pull this way. Pull along the back side and then under her arm, we're going to leave a little bit of a space for a shadow. I've got a neon red that I'm going to be adding because this just isn't bright enough. So I'm going to add a little bit of that mixed with my crimson red. If you're curious, this is Luminous Red by Holdline. And you'll see the difference. So I'll just take a little bit of my crimson red. Mix it with that neon red. And just go over our brightest areas. right on her backside there.
And then add a few little wiggles here just for the fabric down at the base. Yeah, just a little bit of a glow to her cheeks. Give her that beautiful pregnancy glow. So a little bit of pink. And a hint. Bit of a brighter highlight. On her chest area, her belly, and right here. Okay, so now we can add her hand. I'm going to use a small liner brush, a little bit of white burnt sienna, and add just a little line right there for her wrist, and then gently pull out her thumb. and the rest of our hand that's in shadow. So I'm going to take burnt sienna, some blue, um, a little bit of red, kind of makes a almost like a purple color, which is nice for a shadow. There are a few branches up here. I'm going to finish this painting off by adding those and I'm going to use my Continue using this little liner brush. Some water, gotta have water on your brush so that you can make it flow. Blue, burnt sienna, a little bit of red in there. A little bit of white. Just make like a grayish purple color. And I'll come in and just wiggle in a few little branches here. You really want to kind of just twist and roll the brush while you're moving around with it. And that's going to be the easiest way to create little delicate, wiggly, natural looking branches. And then there's a few on this side as well. I'm just going to lift the top bar up here on the canvas so I can complete the top of the painting. I'm going to go into a little burnt sienna now, pull that in with that purpley color that I just made. And I'll just finish the top. Just go over with my dark colors that I originally used. A little bit of all the colors. I'm just going to soften the edges of this tree and a few of the branches. This was such a joy to paint. Thank you so much for sending me the photo to paint this. I'll have the info below linked to Patreon where you can download the reference photo for free. And 
take care everybody have a wonderful day thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more you can follow me on facebook pinterest instagram patreon and here on youtube of course take care see you soon in my next video bye